Hey guys, welcome back to my small engine repair channel. Today I'm going to show you guys a quick trick on how to keep your lawn tractor running when you step off of it. Now you might think this is an odd video to make on how to keep your tractor running when you step off of it, but actually I get a lot of customers that come in my shop and they don't know how to do this. And one of the reasons for that is because a lot of people are used to older tractors without all the safety switches on them. So what I'll first do is start up the machine and when I go to step off the tractor, you'll see that it's going to shut right off. And the reason it's going to do that is because there are multiple safety switches on every new lawn tractor that you buy nowadays. So nowadays when you start a modern lawn tractor, you do have to push in the clutch or the brake and only then will the engine turn over. So you guys saw how quickly the engine turned off when I got up from the seat. That is because there is a safety switch underneath the seat. So you have to be sitting at all times on the seat of this tractor when you're operating it for it to run. If you get off, it will shut off immediately. And like on most tractors, you do have to push in the clutch, which is also the brake here on this tractor, to be able to start it. And you also have to make sure that the blades are disengaged, whether you have a PTO switch or an arm to engage the blades. Make sure it's in the off position when you go to start it. So what I'll do now is show you how to keep your tractor running when you get off the tractor so that you don't have to keep starting it every time you get on and off. So all you have to do to keep your tractor running when you step off of it is keep the parking brake on. And make sure that the blades are disengaged and it won't matter if you're not sitting on the seat. This will come in handy when you're cleaning leaves, if you have a bag or you need to stop multiple times. So what I'm going to do now is start it up and you'll see that when I get off the tractor, it will keep running even though I am not sitting on the seat. So you can see now it's running, the parking brakes on. The safety switches are not turning the tractor off. And again, that's because the parking brake is on. And you can see even though nobody's sitting on it, the tractor doesn't stop. Now what I'm going to do is deactivate the brake and you'll see that it'll shut off. And now it shuts right off as soon as I turn the parking brake off. And by the way guys, you can also start the tractor with the parking brake on. And you don't need to be sitting on the seat either. Now if you go to turn on the blades, it will stop. So that's another safety feature as well. Always make sure that your blades are disengaged. This is an electric PTO, so it's a switch. So basically the only times you'd want to do this is if you want to let the tractor warm up. If you're cleaning your yard and you have to get off the tractor multiple times, it's a good feature to know that by putting the parking brake on, you don't need to stop and start it all the time or every time that you get on and off the tractor. Again, I get a lot of people come in the shop and they say, how do I keep my tractor running when I'm not on it? Because I need to get off of it like 10, 20 times to clean my yard. Sometimes they ask me to bypass all the safety switches, which I will not do in my shop. And I just simply tell them, look, you can keep your tractor running by just putting the parking brake on and making sure that the blades are not engaged. And most people are always surprised when I tell them that because they didn't know about that. And that's probably because they're used to using older machines that did not have any safety features at all. So it's that simple guys, keep your tractor running when you're not sitting on it and you don't even need to bypass any switches at all. I actually don't recommend people bypassing the switches because it can be a safety hazard for sure. And again, make sure that you've got the parking brake on and that your blades are disengaged, so off. That's all there is to it guys. And after a while you will get used to it. It's no big deal. And it's going to be a lot more convenient when you're cleaning your yard. Thanks again for watching. Make sure you're subscribed and that you're following me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram and have a great day.